as I'm wending my way to the end of my uh, third term, um, I have so enjoyed this work for the past 12 years. When I thought about running for office and, and decided to run for office in 2004, I really thought that um, the fact that I had grown up in this area, that I had been a small business owner, that I had worked in nonprofit management, would all be uh, ingredients that could help the county function better. So I thought my, my voice would be helpful. I also really wanted to see much more involvement by members of the community in the decision making and the problem solving on their behalf. So that was one of the reasons that I really focused on transparency uh, in the beginning because I, I know that people in the community, they know their community, they know their problems and issues, and they have ideas about how things can be better. So I wanted to make sure that they could find out when the Board of Supervisors was meeting and what was on the agenda. And at that time, back in the day, um, we did not have the Board of Supervisors materials available online. So one of my first meetings, I asked the clerk of the board uh, to work with us to make that happen. And it did, it happened uh, just within a few months of my taking office. We did quite a few community forums in my first term and we had a tricky budget year in there somewhere and we held a community workshop on the budget. And I was convinced that the people at the workshop were gonna come in and lobby for money to be um, allocated to certain departments or taken away from other departments. And that, in fact, is not at all what happened. What people made clear was they wanted us, the board and the county staff, to spend their taxpayer money wisely. They didn't have any particular ax to grind or uh, specifics about how we should allocate the money. So I thought that was very interesting and it made me realize the importance, which I already knew, but it gave me extra motivation to focus on accountability. I also was very interested in what I called the greening of the county. Really, we formed the Alternative Energy and Environment Committee we worked on um, th what became Monterey Bay Community Power, the whole community choice aggregation. We're, we worked on the county's climate action plan, which was a, a whole uh, plan designed to have the county's facilities and the county's uh, carbon footprint be able to decrease over time. And we set that up. We're now working on the climate action plan for the broader community and we created a position, the sustainability manager, that can shepherd all of our uh, efforts um, in a coherent and cohesive direction. Another area that I felt strongly about, still do, is good land use planning. We passed the general plan in 2010, the year after I took office, and some of the tenets in there were to really concentrate growth and development in the areas where infrastructure and services already exist um, so that we're um, allowing for perhaps greater jobs housing balance, uh, more walkable communities, uh, the ability for people to get to work or to go to the store or go to school uh, by walking or biking or taking transit, but um, ideally by moving our bodies. <laughs> um, and with good land use planning, that's the kind of uh, community development that, that can happen. Those were some of my key areas when I began, and they have ended up being, you know, evolving areas of interest all the way, all the way through. And then sometimes the, um, we need the community to speak up when there are things coming forward that might not be so good. Um, for the community. And an example of that was Whispering Oaks, which was a commercial development that the county was proposing out on Fort Ord um, in the middle of an oak woodland. 
it would have necessitated cutting down tens of thousands of oak trees um, to put in you know, a bus yard and we didn't even quite know what else was gonna go there. And it wasn't really connected to anything. It was just out in the middle of nowhere, which is, you know, piecemeal development. I mean, it's really not good planning, um, but the Board of Supervisors approved it on a four to one vote. I was the dissenter um, and the community went to work to gather signatures for a referendum to ask the voters, do you want this project out there or not? Um, and so many signatures were gathered so quickly that um, the Board of Supervisors uh, decided to just rescind their vote and to unapprove uh, the Whispering Oaks, Oaks project. A couple of things that I really hope people will stay um, engaged with and continue to do um, is to stay involved with the decisions that the Board of Supervisors is making. Um, I also really encourage women to run for office. It's one of the reasons that I have been so supportive of Wendy Root Askew running for my seat. I saw her work and she had the ability from the beginning um, and the time that she spent uh, working with the community and with the county staff and on the issues um, just developed her realization that uh, this was just absolutely fascinating and important work and I really look forward to watching her grow in the job and um, do I'm sure uh, lots of good on behalf of District 4 um, and the, the residents and the environment of Monterey County. So I really call on everyone to be involved, be creative, be caring, um, and continue to make our community a better place. And before I end, I just want to thank my staff. Um, I, have, I have many accomplishments of which I am proud, some of which I've talked about. Um, I never could have done even a fraction of the work that I have done if I didn't have such great staff. And probably every supervisor as they leave office says this because it's true. My office manager, Lori, um, for 11 and a half of my 12 years, uh, my chief of staff, Christy Markey, my aide, Wendy Root Askew, they were extensions of my values and of the priorities that we all wanted to work on. They stayed in touch with the community. They followed through on things when I just went from meeting to meeting to meeting and was reading the next agenda packet. So um, staff really make the world go round and um, I really want to thank them. And I also want to thank county staff. Um, as I said earlier, so many people come to work for county government because it is public service and our work if we do it well, makes life better for the community. Um, and if we don't do it well, we're just another pain in people's necks as they're trying to live their lives. Um, and I know that, um, I mean, we have 5,000 staff at the county and everybody works so hard and really is engaged in trying to make life better for the community. So it's really been a privilege to, you know, to work with all of you for these 12 years and um, I encourage um, the staff keep up the good work, the community keep up the good work um, and I look forward to cheering you on from the sidelines. <laughs>